coming to a sub-basement near you. of a wave where angels flame She has no pain Like a child she is pure She is not to blame stick with the bear for the project. 100%. <laughs> J.P. Schneidecki was born to a pride of lions in Montana in the year of 1954. Abandoned by the lions, he was then raised by a group of wolves in the Black Hills of South Dakota. After that, J.P. Schneidecki moved to Madison, Wisconsin to learn the art of sandwich making and became a world-renowned master. However, after the crisis of 1985, J.P. Schneidecki could no longer continue making the sandwiches he so wanted to make and decided to dedicate his life to the menial task of filmmaking. Diana Allen was reanimated in the year 2010 after being cryogenically frozen by the witches of Bristol County for 500 years. After a failed career in painting, 
She dedicated her life to competitive sailing, but was not very good at it. She then took anthropology as a secondary career that she did not like very much, but it paid well enough to maintain her alive. Many people believe that J.P. Schneidecki and Diana Allen met at the Sensory Ethnography Lab in Harvard to study the ruins of articulation. This, however, is not true. J.P. Schneidecki and Diana Allen have known each other for 2,000 years, since, in fact, they have both reached a point in their lives when they are able to travel through time and have connected as kindred spirits. What you are about to see is a trail of the wreckage that J.P. Schneidecki and Diana Allen have left on their ruinous passage through the human existence of Earth. How do you feel about J.P. Schneidecki? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Do you know anything about his filmmaking? No. J.P. Schneidecki? Schneidecki? Oh, it sounds made up. Yeah, it sounds it, so it sounds made, made up. up. Definitely. Ducky? Do you know Ducky? Is it you? Are you him? Diana Allen and J.P. Snydecky. I think of J.D. Salinger and Prince Diana. I found her Facebook, I think. Yeah. Um, no, I found her. She's the Department of Anthropology. That's all I know. She's like a Palestine Book Award winner or something like that. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Um, if I had a little bit more knowledge about his views and about what he thinks about the world, then maybe I could give a more informed opinion. But honestly, right now, I say he's Cornell. Go Cornell. Let's go Big Red. I think that he should not have exposed these secrets. I think that the implications are larger than him. And even though he believes that what he did was correct, it could put a lot of people in danger. Let me tell you about J.B. Snydecky. Yeah, yeah. He's a big douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate everything to fall apart <laughs> that they've worked for. J.P. Snyder, I love your kid. I, I think he's pretentious. I think he's pretentious. No. Yeah. You think he's pretentious? He's, Why is he pretentious? He's it's, such a nice He's kid. a little too much. He's a little too much. I mean, I like him, but like, a it's a little too much. I've had three crafts with him. He's such a nice kid. Give us some context. Go! Goodbye! Goodbye! Goodbye. Goodbye. I am really bummed that you are leaving to leaving us to go to Northwestern, but you have my permission because I know that Northwestern could probably really use you. It's really difficult to articulate kind of um, what this class and previous uh, film classes have meant to me and to my education and to all these things because um, they've been they've been such a huge part of um, my time at Cornell and such uh, such a great part. Um, Most classes go like this, but Media Anthropology Lab went like this in terms of everything. Thanks to JP, I've learned more in a semester about filmmaking than I have my entire life. Diana and JP, thank you so much um, for everything that you taught me over the course of this year. Um, they opened up a whole new world of filmmaking to me, and I know now that I won't be able to do any more anthropological work without including film. Uh, cinematic sensation film, and that's I'm grateful to you for that. Thanks, JP, for putting up with all my dark, dark, dark movies. Thank you for being such a great uh, film professor. I've uh, never quite met anyone like you. Uh, best of luck in the future, and I'm just really going to miss you, man. I'm going to miss your glasses, your beanie, and your scarf that you wear too much. So thank you very much, and have a good life. Hope to see you again in the future. <laughs> Bye.